Alright guys, we're going to do just a quick, quick touch up on this blur. This is one of my EDC. And it's not doing too bad, but right as the belly starts, it gets a little bit dull there and catching. And this is just a 1200 stone that I've got on here because it is just a touch up. It's not dull. It's not beat up or abused. It's just needing a a quick touch up. So I've already figured the angle and put my marker on there. And so we're really just doing and we could do a little bit of the back and forth if we wanted and even create a burr on the other side with the 1200. And I guess it won't hurt to do that. But ultimately, all I really need is these forward strokes like that to clean that up. And yes, we have a little bit of a burr there. I'm going to do a little back and forth out here on this tip because it looked like I wasn't quite getting that. Now when you have a knife like this or, or those that have even more of a, of a belly on it, and then you might do a, a double stroke and start there and then start back here. And just do both sides of that belly. If that works better for you, if that's more comfortable, because otherwise you're coming up and around and when you get up to that belly, then we're just at the last end of that stone to finish that off. And ultimately, as long as it's getting sharp, it's all that matters, right? As long as we're touching it. So you can do like this where you might end up finishing her off around here and then come back to the middle of that and do a half stroke there. Same on this side. Or you can carefully follow it on along. Or, if you prefer, you can come back over here and do a little bit on from the tip on back. And I'm not really worried this being a, a bit of a beater knife. It's a great knife. I love it. I love the design. I like the assisted open. But I'm not worried about polishing this edge or anything. All I want is to make sure it's as sharp as it can be. So, and I think that's really just catching a fold more than anything there. Yeah. And there we go.